Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. And in the previous video, we did a, a on-site and design with Christian Fellowship Church. We're actually getting ready to do that install next week. But I wanted to break down some of the stuff that we talked about in that diagram. So they have a Mac Mini, like I have here. And one of the issues, like I said, that I have with the Mac Mini is how many outputs that are supported. So mine actually only supports two a regular HDMI out and then maybe through like a dongle adapter or something like this, like this anchor one that I use on occasion here. And at the church, it was a couple of things that we're trying to solve. They have multiple Macs with running multiple ProPresenter licenses. So what we're gonna do is add, consolidate all of those into one system so that one Mac can handle the digital wall, the TVs, everything. But how do you do that when you can't add a new graphics card or anything outside of this and the hardware only limits you to two displays? That's where we're gonna add a dock. This is a external dock that I pretty much talked about before. And what this will allow you to do is to add PCI e-cards, um, that normally desktops are allowed to use. So inside of this one, I've already got it set up. I'll cut over to some video where I have it, but it's really straightforward. All I did is put a Decklink Duo 2 card in here that gives us four SDI outs and one input. Um, I mean, excuse me, has me, gives us four dual input outputs and then another dedicated out. My bad for talking about that. Um, but, and then it has external power and it has Thunderbolt or USB 4 that will connect to the system. So let's actually, I said I wasn't gonna do it. Let's go ahead and open this up so you can actually see what's inside. Um, we have a power brick and some other stuff that we're gonna connect to this. And the great thing about this, my other laptop, my newer laptop actually has USB 4.0. So we should be able to try that on both of these. So we just got the two screws there in the back and that's it. We just slide the card in there um, and it is a two unit uh, space for two uh, slot cards for whatever you're using. So. I believe you could do a GPU, but I don't have a two slot PCI and GPU, all of mine are three. But anyway, that's it. I just slide that in, that's it. Now, you have to make sure that you have the drivers and everything installed on the computer. So that, hold on one second. You get those drivers from blackmagicdesign.com and we're looking for the capture software. So that's pretty much it. Inside of here as well, they give you some power cables, international plugs, all this wonderful stuff like that. But let's go ahead and grab the main one and then let's get the Mac hooked up and everything and we'll just show you how to get this set up. Really, really simple. Alrighty, so we got our Mac hooked up so you can see what's going on. And this is the software I'm talking about. This is the desktop video software setup that you would download from Blackmagic. And as you can see from right here, again, we're not connected to anything. All right, let's go ahead and plug in power. And I have a longer Thunderbolt cable here because the one that's provided is pretty short. We got two jacks in here. It actually has two Thunderbolt jacks in here and it has a um, um, HDMI out. So I guess if you were hooking up a graphics card, maybe that's how that would work. I don't know. And like I said, I don't have a um, two slot PCI E graphics card to test that out. All right, so we just got that connected and boom, there it goes. It just picks it up, <laughs> which I, I love the fact that it just works. So. Now I've already labeled these cards, the outputs, but that's pretty much it. We just connected there and now what is gonna be happening at the church, we're gonna be able to get rid of the three systems because they have one that's running their main announcements, their um, LED wall. Then they have another one that does the sides. 
um, side screens for, with ProPresenter and another Mac, and then they have another Mac that just handles the lower thirds. So we'll be able to consolidate all of those with this. So inside of here, like I've already listed out, we have LED wall, um, lower thirds, side TVs, and announcements. So we have everything consolidated in one system. Now, with that being said, I do have ProPresenter on my Mac. Again, it's the demo version. My live version is on the computer behind me. So let's just see how this shows. Come over to our menu, go to settings, go to screens, and configure screens. And then as you see, all of those outputs from the Decklink Duo and this dock give me options there. So we have it set up to where we have our LED wall and I personally go inside the setup software. When you go inside of here, you can actually go to about and give it names and that name will carry over into whatever software they can actually see it. So that just makes it easier for me when I'm labeling everything. So I have multiple screens, the LED wall, the ATEM, the TVs and the stage display. I have all of those set up. All I had to do was come in here and match the name that corresponds with the input that we gave to Decklink Duo. Um, now, again, I really like this because I it's, it's going to allow them to not have to pay for so many licenses. They have multiple systems they don't have to maintain, and then they have to synchronize between everybody to make sure they're putting the same thing up. One system can drive all of this, and it's not that much of a strain on the system. All of that is going to be left up to just the software. If it kind of bugs out, it's probably because of the software, not the system. Um, now, like I said, this whole setup can work with a Windows PC as long as you have USB 4.0. My laptop upstairs is a USB 4.0, and when I connect it, it works the exact same way. So let's just show you how that works. All right, so I have my laptop here, and I'll zoom in, but it specifically says on the laptop that I have USB 4.0. That's how this will work. So let's go ahead and get my laptop plugged in so that y'all can see everything. And there are my USB 4.0 ports on the back. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open up the desktop software, which again is required for this. So we got it open now. So now, just like the same way, let's go ahead and connect this up cable here we we'll go ahead and connect it there there we go so you see the names did not propagate because this was done when i had this tested with the mac originally so i would have to come in here and do the names but the same way it shows up here now i'm gonna do some different software here because you might be saying well aj you're only talking about pro presenter it's any software that can talk to any of the Decklink cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up OBS and inside of here, so let's actually go to, we we'll do our pre-show here. And outside of here, if we go to tools, because the drivers have been installed, we have a Decklink output. So inside of here, I can pick any of those cards because these are bi-directional. Four of them are bi-directional, so it can do with input or output. So you can use one of these cards as like for bringing in cameras if you wanted to, but we're gonna be using these as outputs. But in this scenario, I could come out here and say, hey, I want you to output this scene or whatever OBS is seeing and push it out over the SDI and send it to whatever you want. So again, this, this whole dock and everything like that will work if you have a computer that has USB 4.0, which my laptop happens to have. My desktops don't have that. But if you wanted to add something newer, um, some more displays, especially like this, because just at the church we're getting ready to do, they have a Mac, this is what's gonna allow us to add those extra outputs. Now, I actually got this at a deal. I have a link down below for that. The card is $545. That ain't gonna change. Um, the card is gonna go inside, but the enclosure, um, this is actually just a StarTech one. This one was going for around $250 when I got it. Um, I got it around Prime time, Prime, um, Amazon Prime um, 
Prime Deals, whatever they call it. <laughs> I got it when Amazon was doing deals. But anyway, it was a regular price. I think it's like 275. But this gives you an option to add some more stuff to your Mac if you want it to have different outputs because you can't actually add new displays to the system without doing something like this. So I think that's about it. Be on the lookout when we do the install next week and we'll show you how we actually put this in place. But as you can see, works great and I hope it will help them lower the expenses of what they have to do at their ministry and let all of it be controlled from one system compared to multiple. Anyway, link is down below if you're interested in getting one and that's about it. And if you ever have any questions and you want me to help you out in any way, shape or form with your media ministry, know that you can contact me at questions at ajhomes.com or if you need some extended help, go ahead and book a consultation by go to ajhomes.com slash consultations. We do phone, Zoom, and we do on sites to help modernize your media ministry. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come up with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks, this is AJ. Catch you on the next video, later.